Hey guys, RayGT179 here, and today I am back with part 10 of the redstone um, tutorial for the house in the room. Now, this is the final part, guys. We're going to be doing the most complicated circuit, which is the crafting circuit. And the reason it's most complicated is because of the anvil, that extra anvil that drops down. So, let's get to building this. Find your red block, which is the first one uh, on the top row, and build two redstone like this on, on partly on to the side of the house. Come out this way. Redstone repeater going into a sticky piston facing upwards with a block on top. Out of that block, we have a repeater on one tick that goes into, uh, excuse me, that goes into a uh, sticky piston with a redstone block on its face. Then, uh, right here in front, we have a redstone that goes down a little staircase right here like this. And then in front of that red last redstone, we have a piston with a redstone block. Now it's time to start building the circuit crazy thing like that thing that crazy jumbled mess so let's go ahead and build it so in front of this uh little redstone block where we would the redstone block would be if it's extended we build this little thing platform that goes a, a little redstone dot that goes up into a platform that's three by two and then just do what i'm doing redstone along the back repeaters on the front all of these on four ticks please um then we are going to grab a repeater back behind here, still going in the same direction on four ticks. Uh, block behind that repeater like this, and that's going to be it for that little part. So when this gets powered, those pistons will go up forward. Yeah. So off to the side of this, so when the redstone block powers, it'll be sideways going here. We have a redstone dot that goes down one, and then over one, two, three. So just like that, and then over here up front, we have we are going to like on the end of this thing, we're going to build one two one two just like that. So yeah, then re two repeaters here. The right one is on four ticks, and then in front of them two redstones. On the right redstone part, we have a torch on the side. In front of that torch, we have redstone that goes up into the crafting table piston right there, and we of course we have to spread it over here to the other crafting table piston because we have two crafting tables um and that should power that part so right now it'll be open circuit right now all right now to finish the thing up uh we need to hold on let me check real quick it's a complicated circuit hard for me to remember everything okay so we're gonna have to come out and around like this so find this corner here and build around it like that redstone like this one tick repeater there then behind it we have redstone up one to the right, redstone on that. Over here, we have a uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. redstone like that. And I think there's a four tick repeater somewhere. Yep. Oh, okay, hold on. For this part, we actually need to build up one more. Just like this, so it's like a little spiral going up. And then to the left of that, we have a four tick repeater going into this block. And on this block, we have a torch on top. Block on top of the torch, and then out to the side. Uh, we need a path leading all the way into these pistons, and then three repeaters in a line, and it should power these two top pistons like this. Four ticks, four ticks, three ticks, just like that. Then, uh, coming out of the other side of this torch, just like, uh, how did I do it? Oh, okay. Uh, so coming out of the side of this torch, we build one, one, come on, one, two, three. Uh, two repeaters like this, both of them on four ticks, and then redstone in front of them. Torch on the side of that redstone, and then below the redstone, it links up to right here. So, just like that. And then, we are going to have to build something very, very special. The circuit for when the anvil breaks, you can push the button on the inside to get a new one. So, in front of this anvil, on top of this part, uh, we're just going to build like a little shape like that. So, right behind this anvil, we need a button actually right here it has to be a stone button no wooden buttons uh in this case so put a button like that behind the anvil now this button if i remember correctly on uh to the side of it i try to explain this easily uh we have a slab right like that a slab next to this this is the button block um and then out of that button block we have a repeater going into this block then to the side of the block we have redstone that links up here and then cut this off like that. So the repeater will power this redstone over here and then do the anvil replacement circuit. 
So that is the whole big mess of the crafting table done. Now all you need to do is above these two middle pistons, I marked it with red wool, but this is where you're going to have to do uh, replace the anvils. Now um, you can't stack the anvils. You can't do this and expect every time to come through because it just really messes it up if you do it like this. You can only have one here at a time and the only flaw with the system is that sometimes when the anvils fall they can become slightly damaged. So that's a downside to it but you know it all works. It's pretty cool. So you got your anvil here and if it ever breaks you just push the button and the anvil will fall down there. Yeah see sometimes only not only sometimes not every time uh, it gets damaged. So yeah, you have a new anvil there, and you can uh, just go ahead and get out onto your roof and replace the anvil in between those two blocks that you can mark. And then, we will check out the normal crafting table circuit. We push the button, it closes itself. We push the button again, it opens itself. Now the only thing left for you to do is you can change these blocks back to normal wall blocks and label them using signs. But yeah, guys, that is going to be it. This has been a series, whoops, for the house and the room tutorial. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little special creation I've made. Um, it's actually pretty cool. I've, I've, like, it would be really cool if you could uh, have all this in survival. My, oops, if you could have all this in survival Minecraft, that would be pretty cool, pretty cool. So anyway, yep, that's gonna be everything. And of course, this house has to be hidden. And there's everything gone. Look at that. Alright guys, I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial series. Once again, I'd like to thank everyone who subscribed to me for 250 subscribers. Wonderful milestone that I've come across. And yeah. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this little series. I hope you guys enjoy the house in a room. But anyways, uh, if you enjoyed the video and the tutorials, the rating would be much appreciated. Also, if you really enjoy the channel, why not subscribe? It'll help me get towards that next milestone. And if you have a question, please post it in the comments below. Also, I will provide, and it would start raining. Come on. Come on. I'm doing my little speech. Go away. Nobody likes you, Rain. Okay. So anyway, guys. Remember to subscribe, and if you have a comment, place it. In the, if you have a question, place it in the comment section below. I will also be providing a world download link along with um, the original video. So, if you uh, are too lazy to build it and you just want to check it out in this cool little void world that I have here, uh, go ahead and go back to the original um, video where I posted a thanks to my 250 subscribers, um, and I will be adding a world download link as soon as this 10th uh, part is up. So yeah, guys, uh, thanks for 250 subscribers, thanks for watching, and as always, until next time, I will see you later.